Visible, the prepaid plan from Verizon has become a popular option for RVers and cruisers. But how well does it work as a home internet replacement? Hi there, I'm Shereen with the Mobile Internet Resource Center. And Visible is a prepaid brand from directly from Verizon and they launched in May 2018. They've been an option that we've been tracking for quite a while and they are our current one of our current top pick data plans for RVers and cruisers to use in their mobile internet arsenal. Now about last June, they removed their high speed cap for on device usage. And the plan has become a lot more popular with RVers and cruisers and a lot of bloggers and vloggers have been sharing about the plan and there's some information that's not getting out there that we wanted to clarify and we also wanted to share with you our review of the plan that we've been using since last April both before and after they removed the speed cap. So first of all what are the terms on the plan that you need to know about? The first is it is on Verizon's network but it is only on their native LTE network. You do not get any of their 3G coverage or any of their roaming partners. And that does change their roaming map from what you might be looking at if you look at a Verizon postpaid coverage map. So make sure you're very aware of that. We do have some reports of people not getting the coverage they expect when they're comparing it with a postpaid Verizon plan. Still a lot of coverage that Verizon offers on their native coverage, but it's not their entire coverage map. Next, Yes, they did drop their speed caps, and that is only on device usage, however. That's the speed that you're going to get when you're surfing on your smartphone. They still have in their terms of service, and it is clearly disclosed on their plan page, that mobile hotspot use is still capped at 5 megabit per second. It hasn't been reliably enforced, and we'll share with you our experience with it. But that cap is still there in their terms of service. So if you're using this as a hotspot plan, make sure you are aware of that and that that is suitable enough for your needs. Now, also video is supposed to be throttled to 480p resolution. That's DVD quality. If you're used to higher resolution video streaming like for Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, you need to be aware of that, that in their terms of service, video is throttled to DVD quality speeds. The service also goes through their own nodes and that does have some restrictions and that means that you're going to have higher ping times. We'll explain what that means and what the actual results are that you might, can expect to see. But one point that a lot of people tend to skip over is that this is a prepaid plan and it is always subject to network management. That means compared to a postpaid Verizon plan, you're going to get lower speeds and when there is network congestion, you're going to get even lower speeds than a postpaid plan will be. And we will show you head to head with three other Verizon plans that we travel with, what the speed difference is on the same class of modem device. But with all those caveats, it is still an incredible deal for Verizon plan at $40 a month flat. There are no taxes and fees on top of that. It is $40 a month that you pay upfront for each month. And for that price, you get unlimited hotspot use. Even if it is capped at five megabit per second, that's a very usable speed to use. And it is a great option if you need on-device data on your smartphone. But we're gonna go and show you our actual results with Visible so that you can make a decision if this is the right plan for you. And then I'll be back after we share those results and share some of the other uh, things that you need to know about using a smartphone as your hotspot device in your mobile internet arsenal. So the first catch with Visible plans is that they only work in smartphones and only in selected smartphones. So there's a list of compatible devices, a lot of iPhones and some Android phones that work with Visible devices, with Visible plans, and those devices are strictly enforced on the network. So if you take out a Visible SIM and try to get that plan working in a hotspot or a cellular router or an unsupported phone, it just will not work. So you got to keep that in mind. You're always limited to trying to get your data and using your phone as that hotspot to share it. Now, as far as performance, this is a visible plan in here versus a regular Verizon prepaid plan here. So here we are seeing on my left um, a Verizon prepaid plan, on my right a visible plan. And you'll see um, speeds will generally be faster on a Verizon plan, particularly the, um, a Verizon postpaid plan, prepaid plan. All these plans have priority over visible. Um, so you do suffer a speed block. 
But the other important number to see is the ping times. If you look on the left, the Verizon native plan has 53 millisecond ping time. The visible plan has 172 millisecond ping time. That means it's nearly 0.2 or almost a, uh, getting close to a quarter of a second round trip for um, any key press you do, any interaction you do online on visible to go through their servers and get out to the internet. So it is kind of like you're running in mud as far as just general internet responsiveness completely aside from the speed when compared with a native uh, Verizon plan. And even in really good Verizon signal con conditions and great places and stuff, you will always be subject to that extra slowdown on visible on the ping time because it has to route through their servers. So one of the important rules of visible plants is that they're supposed to allow only a single device to connect to share a mobile hotspot. So you can have just one laptop, one iPad, one something else connected to a phone that is sharing your device. That is their official policy and their rules. Um, interestingly, um, Apple does not allow visible to enforce that rule. So when you're sharing from an iPhone, you still can allow five devices to connect at once. It's only Androids that are enforcing that one device limit. Um, for sharing your connection, which is great. So you can actually share to up to five devices if you have a visible plan in an iPhone. Um, if you're using an Android or something like that, or an iPhone, you can also go through a router and have the router share the connection if you want to get more devices connected. Um, but now there's still the problem of visible's um, speed limit for hot mobile hotspot data. So their policy is to s slow down mobile hotspot data to five megabits per second, which is pretty fast, but still a far cry from potentially as fast as 100 megabits per second you might see on uh, Verizon otherwise. And we see that. We definitely, like here we're seeing the speeds capped at 4.32 megabits per second. This speed test got 5.89. Um, and we see the speed that speed cap frequently, but interestingly, not always. Sometimes when you're sharing the hotspot connection, you'll still see the same speed on the hotspot as you do directly on your phone. So Visible's enforcement of that is very inconsistent, but it is there and you should definitely plan around five megabits per second being your peak speed. Now, the one other thing that uh, Visible does is they throttle your video speeds in general to 1.5 megabits per second when you're streaming video and that forces the video resolution down to roughly 480p slash DVD quality. And you can see this by going to fast.com, which is Netflix's speed test server. And when you run a speed test there, you'll see that speed capped at 1.5. But again, not always. And it doesn't seem like Visible is very consistent in the sites that they are doing their video throttling on. So we've been able to sometimes watch 1080p video via Visible, via YouTube, sometimes Netflix, not always. Uh, Hulu seems to work really well, but again, sometimes not always. So visible server that is doing that speed throttling is very inconsistent, but you should definitely plan on it being there, not count on always having 1080. And because the speeds do fluctuate so much, you actually might have some inconsistent video streaming experience. Now we've been running visible since April and testing it in a lot of different locations. And just a couple weeks ago, I ran a full test of all of our Verizon devices. We carry four different plans with Verizon for testing. And just to see what the differences were in speeds, we use compatible modems with them all. So the iPhone XS compared with the Jetpack 8800, which is also a Cat 18 modem. So keeping specs very similar. Now on Visible, I was getting about 35 megabit per second on device. And we did see the five megabit per second uh, hotspot cap on that on one test and on another we saw full speed. But concurrently at that location after that test we saw the five megabit per second hotspot cap for the rest of the day. So it seems once it kicked in it stayed there. Now on my Verizon prepaid plan direct with Verizon on a smartphone, I have a 15 gigabyte plan that I keep there for my phone. Um, I was seeing 45 megabit per second consistently. So a little bit faster than the visible plan. Now, when we used our uh, Jetpack prepaid unlimited plan, you know that sweet plan that retired back in May that we covered that we tried to get a bunch of you on before it did, that's $65 per month, we were seeing 75 megabit per second. So for some reason, that unlimited Jetpack plan was smoking even Verizon prepaid smartphone plans and visible. Now, when we used our legacy grandfathered in postpaid, no throttling, no network management uh, unlimited data plan that we use in our 8800 and sometimes in uh, routers as well. That plan has long since been retired, but you can still rent them from some third party rental centers. We were getting over 100 megabit per second. So that just gives you the scale of what you can see with uh, Verizon prioritization on the various levels of the plans that are offered. 
Visible is definitely at the bottom of the pack as far as Verizon Direct plans on their priority level. And that's just all on the same sort of modem. Now there's some other caveats with using a smartphone as your hotspot. Like Chris said, you cannot use a SIM card in a jetpack or a router. You're going to have to use it on a smartphone, which means a lot of your data usage needs to be on device. There's lots of clever ways that you can like do video streaming with an HDMI out. We have other videos covering that and a guide to that uh, to get video off of it. But again, it might be capped to that 480p sometimes, sometimes not. The mobile hotspot, however, if you're good with that five megabit per second cap, which may or may not be enforced in some locations, means you're gonna be hotspotting off of your smartphone. Now, hotspotting off a smartphone, it has its downsides as being your primary way online. For one, if this is your only line of service and it's your main phone for talking and you take it away, that means everyone else in your household no longer has access to the internet. So you might want a dedicated phone for this use. And that's also a good idea because we have a lot of reports that porting numbers in and out of Visible is um, iffy at best. A lot of people have had problems. Some of them lost their long-term numbers by porting in and out of Visible. So it's usually better to get a new line of service if you can with them for that anyway. Um, you can, of course, use a router with it to share that hotspot service as well. Now, smartphones, when you're using a hotspot, especially the iPhones, they tend to fall asleep if they're not used constantly. So if you haven't used it for five or 10 minutes or, or longer, and you go back to use it as your hotspot device, the smartphone has turned off hotspot to save power, to save data. So you have to go in and restart the hotspot on the phone. A lot of people really like that instant on. It's always on connection that a jetpack or a router might provide. So don't expect that with a smartphone all the time. Also keep in mind that you need to have your hotspot, your phone, plugged in because using mobile hotspot use drains the battery pretty quickly. The other thing about smartphones and hotspot use and data usage is your signal enhancing options are somewhat limited. You're going to either have to put this in a window. So we're here visiting friends and family at a house um, and they don't have great signal here. Uh, if I wanted to increase this upload speed, my only option really is to try to be outside. That's not working so well here at this location or use a cellular booster, which are a $500, $600 investment to get a better signal. Um, if when you're using a jetpack or mobile hotspot device or a router, you have the option of using MIMO antennas, which are usually a lot cheaper and a lot more effective for data performance. We have a video on that too, if you'd like to learn more about boosters versus MIMO. So those are some of the downsides of using a smartphone as a hotspot device and why Visible may or may not be the right solution for you as your primary mobile internet solution on the road. Or maybe it is if your needs are limited. If you need a reliable, fast as always connection, visible probably isn't going to be it. But if your needs are light, your needs are variable, your needs are not necessarily need reliable and always on connection, it might just be the right solution for you. There's more information that we have on visible at rvmobileinternet.com slash visible. Go to the link, any updates that we have, any new stories, any new releases on visible will be updated there. And thank you so much to our mobile internet aficionados, our premium members who have made it possible for us to keep this plan in activation. We don't actually need the plan ourselves. And testing it and doing this review, we don't normally do our full reviews in public. That's usually a member exclusive benefit. So if you have questions on other options about mobile internet, whether it's gear or plans, consider becoming a member. They get this sort of in-depth content for all the things that we hands-on test. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.